Hey guys, welcome to this video. And in this video, I'm going to show how to use the React draggable NPM package. It's pretty popular, it gets $2 million a week. And um, if we go to the uh, demo page, if you can go down here and uh, the demo page is right here in this link. You can see that you can drag this anywhere you want. This one snaps to 50 pixels. This one can be moved 100 pixels in any direction. And this one can be moved by clicking it. Um, this one you can track the movements and this one uh let's see this one can only be moved inside the body uh, body tag so there are many different options so i'm going to go over how to use it so i'm going to use, uh, demonstrate it in code sandbox and i'm going to go over and create react and then i'm going to on the left dependencies here i'm going to uh, select react draggable Then I'm going to go over to the uh, NPM package page and I'm going to go down here and I'm going to copy and paste all this and paste it right in there except the bottom portion I need to type in export default app since that's how this um, this works. Um, I don't need, uh, I don't, I'm not going to use this right, right now, this part right now so I'm going to delete that and I don't need this either so I'm going to delete that for now. And if we go to this um, page, I, can, I think I can go to a separate browser as well. Uh, I, so if I go to this page, I can drag it left and right. So you can drag it here left and right. Refresh the page just to show you again. Drag left and right. So that's uh, because the axis is set to X. If we set this to Y, you can drag it up and down. But we can't drag it left and right. But I'm going to set it to both. And then I can drag it from any position that I want. And then I'm going to, uh, right now it's set to grid 25. If I delete this, it can be dragged. It can be just, it doesn't snap. It drags anywhere you want. Or I can move, change this to, let's say, 100 each. And it will, or let's say 120 each. So I think that's the y-axis and the x-axis it might be the other way around let's check it out so um, it's x-axis is snapping to 100 pixels and the y-axis snaps to 20 pixels each so that's how that works and then if we want to let's say uh, allow for left and right left and right click to drag and drop right now it's only right click uh, if I try to left click it it doesn't work I left click it it doesn't work but if I type in allow any click then type in boolean, so boolean if I do that then I can right I left click it and then right click it right click it right click it it also uh, moves and just to show you where it is uh, if we type in um, allow any click if we set this true um, will be draggable on both left buttons so you can see what the uh, odd different options are here down here in the documentation these are all the options and also if you go to here you can if you want if you don't want to be dragged uh, or let's see this one that we just use here the snap grid you can go to the uh, documentation page we can click on demo source and that brings us to the github page and we can type in um, think snap grid grid and you can or we can just type in uh, let's see it was snap to 50 by 50 snap to 50 and this right here snap to 50 by 50 and that has this um, uh, entry right here grid is 50 by 50 so that's where that works and so you can find all the different elements that you need. Um, I'm going to also try uh, if we right now if we click on that this is readme is dragging on uh, this part it doesn't um, work. So if we type if we move that out and move this in right here, now this bottom portion works, but the top portion doesn't work. Now if we take this out and then type it in right here then both portion works and now we're going to click on the top text and the bottom line text. 
Another thing that I want to do is I want to just add a border just to show you uh, the bounds where we limit where it can move to. So draggable box one. Then I'm going to add a, so basically you create the div that you want to be draggable and then you add the draggable element over it on the top and bottom. And then I'm going to create the container outside this draggable element. So I'm going to do container. then make sure you want to save it save it right here and then i'm going to go to style.js and don't need that and go container border three pixels solid blue um height 50 viewport height width 100 viewport width or 100 viewport height um See container file saved. I think that's right. Oh, I forgot to. I think I deleted the um, style portion here. Let's add that back in. So import styles.css. That should work. Okay, so we've got the border, and then I'm going to add in the uh, border for the um, smaller div, uh, smaller div that we're dragging around. Draggable box one border three pixels solid orange with toner. Pixel padding 20 pixels. And now, if we go back and we add a bounds, let's um, do that. So, let's go to um, let's say bounds is equal to parent, then this shouldn't move outside, um, outside the uh, blue box, which is this parent div. And it's going slightly outside. I don't know how to fix that, but I guess you'll have to play around with the CSS. This is just to show, show you the, um, how the default uh, default um, settings work. But I'm sure you can fix that with the CSS. Um, other than that, you can also do, instead of going like that, instead of parent, you can do bounds. And then left is negative 100. Top is negative 100 right is 100 then bottom is 100 and this will set it to 100 pixels outside of its original position so you can see that it's going 100 pixels left top right and bottom so that's how you use the drag uh, react draggable um npm package i hope you found this video helpful if you liked it leave a like and subscribe and i hope you guys enjoy your day bye